What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick modeling tutorial for you. So um, I'm kind of in a rush today, so I'm just going to make this kind of a quick video. Um, so let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so what I'm going to do in this case is there's probably a couple different ways you could do this. You could either draw a profile and you could extrude it in a circle um, using the rotate tool, or you could use the circle and scale tools, which is what we're going to do. So to start off, we're going to activate the circle tool by tapping the C key. The first thing I'm going to do is lock it to the green axis by tapping the left arrow key. And then once we've done that, we're just going to draw a circle that's going to define kind of the front diameter of our flashlight. So um, it doesn't really matter what this is. I'm going to do something like four inches for right now. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start using the push-pull tool in order to start defining the shape here. So if you think about a flashlight, what you're going to have is you're, you're going to have the front part of a flashlight um, is going to be kind of a ring. So we're going to push-pull this this way, and then we're going to tap the control key to activate put the push-pull tool in um, create new face mode. So what that's going to do is that's going to create a new face instead of push-pulling this existing face. And so we're going to use that in order to kind of detail out this flashlight. because so we're going to have kind of these rings in here that are going to be a little bit uh, a little bit different size. And if you wanted to, if you wanted this to be ridged, the other thing you could do is you could also uh, offset this in a little bit when you push pull this. So if you wanted this to have like a ridged ring or something like that, right here you could just do this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push pull this piece right here. So we're gonna assume this is gonna be another ring piece. So just something like that. And then one thing you can do, because the inside of this right now is actually um, offset in, and what we really want is we want our uh, face covering this whole outside piece. So I'm just gonna erase out this edge, and what that's gonna do is that's gonna heal in a face right here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, um, I'm gonna use the push-pull tool again and create new face mode, and I'm just gonna push-pull this out. And so from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the scale tool in order to scale this in a little bit. So you can see how what I did is I selected this face, and then I used the scale tool in um, about center mode, so I'm just holding the control key. So I'm just gonna click and drag like this. And we're going to push pull this a bit further. And so one thing I'd probably like to do before I do this is I'm going to also offset this in um, on this back side. So otherwise this looks a little bit weird with that ring. So I'm just going to push pull this like this. I'll use the scale tool in about center mode and we'll go ahead and scale this in. And so from here you can do a lot of different things. In this case I'm just going to push pull this back and we're going to make this kind of a simple flashlight. So kind of one of those longer like mag lights or something like that. So I'm just going to push pull that to right here and then we're just going to do the same thing on this side where we're going to offset this in. We'll push pull this a little bit so we can make like our little cap that you would screw off with batteries. And then we're just going to offset this out again. And then finally, I'm just going to push pull this out to about here and I'll erase this edge. That'll heal that face in. And so what we have here is we have our general flashlight shape. And there's a lot of different things we could do if, if we wanted to try to make this, if we wanted to try to give this more ridges or something like that, we could do that. I'm not going to do that in this video because like I said, I'm in, a bit of, I'm in a bit of a hurry today. So really what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to kind of wrap up the front side. So I'm just going to offset this inside and then I'm gonna push pull this back. And there's a couple different options for how you could do this. You could either push pull this back to like right here and then reverse this face. And if you wanted to have a glass face on here, you definitely could. Or you could just push pull this back just a little bit. Um, if you're just trying to make like a visual indicator of a flashlight or something like that, you could just push pull this back. But in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna push pull this back here. And then I'm also going to take this face and I'm going to use the move tool in copy mode to create a face more forward, kind of like this one. So, and one thing that I don't really like about this is this created kind of an edge around the outside here. Um, that's because if I turn on x-ray mode, so if I go to my styles toolbar, you can see how I made this circle a little bit too big. It's kind of outside of this. I think maybe I copied the wrong one. But what we're, what we're able to do is we can just right click on this and click the option for intersect faces with model. That'll take all the edges where this face intersects with the outside here and that'll intersect them. Now I can come in here and I can erase out this extra ring. And so if you wanted to, you could definitely come in here and um, like model out the bulb or everything like that but I'm just gonna come in here and I'm just gonna add a couple materials really quick so and I'm gonna make this really simple we're just gonna create 
um, a glass material on the face right here. And then everything else, so I'm just gonna select the whole thing. Actually, I'm gonna select this one first and then I'm gonna hold the shift key and select it. That's gonna select everything except this face. Um, it's gonna deselect this face because that was already selected. I'm just gonna color that black. So I'm just gonna come in here, I'm gonna pick a black color like this color M08 and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select that. And so from there you could take this and like I made a video where I made a, where I made this face an emitter. So I was able to come in here and make this emit light in a rendering program. You could do different things with this or you could just kind of leave it on a table as a context model. And you could also come in here and add like a yellow color or something like that instead. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Have you thought about this workflow before? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.